there's a little backpack. I'm getting emotional over a backpack right now. I really am, it's just so cute. Today, I'll be designing and styling a Karomi themed bedroom and a Gudetama themed bedroom. I'll be designing the rooms using the brand new Hello Kitty and Friends furniture pack, which is now available on the in-app shop. And I am so excited about this video today, guys, because it is sponsored by Toka Life World themselves. So a big thank you to them. And the reason for that is they came to me and asked if I would like to play around with the brand new Hello Kitty and Friends furniture pack and of course I said yes because I am a huge fan of Hello Kitty and friends and this new pack includes home decoration items with Hello Kitty, Karomi, Batsmaru, Gudetama and my Melody. So many amazing items. So yes a big thank you to Toka Life World and now let's get into it and design these rooms. This is one of my favorite houses to design rooms in because the two rooms are very similar in size. So I'm thinking on the left here, we'll have the Gudetama room, and then on the right here, we'll have the Karomi room. Let's start with Gudetama. There are so many amazing items in this pack to do with Gudetama, starting off with the bed. Let me just show you this because it is the best thing ever. Basically, the bed is made of bread and there is a bacon blanket. A bacon blanket. This is just amazing. And most of the Gudetama items are obviously related to food because Gudetama is an egg, which is just the best design for a character ever. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of food related items in this room. But I've gotta say my favorite item out of all of them is the bed. I think you can see why. So we don't have a bedside table included with Gudetama, but what we can do is go over here and use the little stool. And that's gonna give the appearance of a bedside table. There are a ton of little items that come along with Gudetama too, like this one. I know it's a kitchen appliance, but you just have to see this. It is amazing. This is how you cook eggs, right? With this little appliance. And if you open it up, there's an egg inside and you can actually take the egg out and you've just got a little Gudetama egg. I'm so glad it didn't smash when I drop it. So I'm going to put the little egg back in there and close it up for now, but I really want to incorporate this item into the room. We'll just have to pretend it's not for cooking food and that it's just a cute little egg. I love it so much. I'm also going to be using items not from the pack to design these rooms because I feel like I need extra shelf space and stuff to feature all of these items. There are just so many and I love them all. This is by far my favorite pack, but I think that's just because I'm a huge Sanrio fan. All right, let's move on because we need to make this bedroom look amazing. So I think next I'm going to do the floor and the walls. So we have three Gudetama wallpapers, which we're going to go and check out now. We have, of course, Gudetama all over the walls in different poses. This is such an amazing wallpaper. There is just so much going on. It's actually really funny. The thing I love about Gudetama as well is his little butt. He's got a little bum. It's so cute. Okay, so we have that wallpaper. We also just have like a cracked egg design and also like a sleepy Z design, which is really cute. But I think I'm gonna go with the cracked eggs just because I feel like it matches the color scheme of the bed. We also have a floor here, which is just a wooden flooring. And that is because the Gudetama items kind of have like a spa theme about them. If you go on the beds again, you can see this little spa bed where you'd like lay on and get a massage. And that's because Gudetama is all about being lazy and having a good time, which I'm here for. So let's have a look. I think we're gonna use this here so that Gudetama can store some clothes, even though definitely doesn't need clothes. But what we can store on there is a little towel. There is a little bacon towel and it is amazing. So I'm gonna put two bacon towels on there and also good time items. So there's a toothbrush, a little bottle of something. Is that egg yolk? Oh my gosh, look at it. It's licking yolk. That is, um, that's interesting for sure, but it can go on the shelf. There is also a 
toilet roll holder, but I don't feel like it's gonna fit in the bedroom, so sorry about it. You're going in the bin. Oh, there's a good Otama chair. We totally have to put this in here. It is an egg chair. It is amazing. It's going in the room. Now there's also bamboo. So I think I'm gonna put this here in the middle of the room, make a statement about it. And um, we need a rug for this bedroom. And I have the perfect one right here. How amazing is that? This room is looking so good already. But I feel if there was a good Otama living in this room, they would wanna check themselves out in a mirror. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a mirror. And obviously we have the perfect one. It's the shape of an egg. How amazing is that? Honestly, I wish these items were available to get in real life because I would have every single one of them. And this room is so simple and so cute. I love it. I kind of want to leave it just as it is, but let's go ahead and add some more items in here. Anything we can put on the walls, maybe a clock or something. That would be really cute. Here's some more food items. I don't feel like we need any more food items, but actually that is a vending machine. That is of course good Atama themed. So maybe if we got some of the items out of there, we could store those on the shelf. Oh my gosh, look at this little plant. I love it. It's a cracked egg. Where can I put this? Maybe I can replace this egg and put that up on the shelf. And I can put this plant on the bedside table. Yeah, that works. I'm actually so sad that this isn't my bedroom because I would happily live in this bedroom. We have this, which is like a little steam machine, which I guess is to do with the spa theme that we've got going on. So I really want to use this in the room. I just don't know where it would go. Maybe we could just put it on the floor over here, you know, just so it feels like it's involved. <laughs> or maybe I can move these shelves down a little bit and put it on the top. Yeah, let's try that. How's that? I think it works well up there. Got a little steam machine. I don't know why we need a little steam machine in the bedroom, but we have one. I really want to use this clock, but I don't like the placement of things right now. So I'm going to move some stuff around. I'm going to move the shelf again. The shelf is moving and it's going over here. Egg mirror over here. The chair directly underneath it. And then the clock can go up there. I think that looks so much better. It seems like there's actually room for everything now. So I'm just having a look to see if there's anything else good Atama themed that we can put in this room. Oh, that is the vending machine we could totally get the vending machine out and then take the items from it so this is amazing I love this but if you tap on the items inside of the vending machine they come out look how cool is this so we've got little good Atama themed foods I'm gonna have to put these in the bedroom even though this would be so weird to do just having food in the room <gasps> I just made something. I made a little cake. I didn't mean to do that, but wow. Can I combine more things? You can combine the food. I didn't know you could do that. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put these foods in the fridge because I don't think it's very good to have open foods in your room. I actually low-key wanna try combining some of these ones. What if I put the cake with this? Um. Yeah, I don't think that worked out. That one looks a little bit gross, not gonna lie. Okay, what about these two? Um, yeah, I don't really think they go together either. This is not designing the rooms, but I am now totally invested in finding out what happens when you combine different foods together. What I might actually do is use a shelf from the game and I'm just gonna put them on there. So let's find a nice brown shelf to match the aesthetic of the room. I just feel like our food needs to be showcased, okay? There we go, you got the eggs. There's actually not room for the cake up there. So I think I might put it on the bedside table because it's really, really cute. Okay, we still have a few items that I wanna incorporate into this room, such as this little egg cushion. How cute. Put that on the bed just because I feel like it matches really well and then also this football or soccer ball which I'm just gonna put on the floor. This makes the room look a little bit lived in you know. There are of course more good Atama themed items but I don't feel like they really fit in this room. There's things like toilet roll holder which 
I just don't feel like fits in a bedroom, but you know what, we can have it there. Bathtubs too, but like I said, I don't really feel like I can use them in the room. There is one thing I actually want to put in here. It's this little egg bunting. How adorable is that? I just feel like it adds to the room, you know, just a little bit of decoration. This is an item that comes with good Atama stuff. It's this little shelving unit. Maybe I could use that actually instead of the normal shelf. Oh, this actually looks so much better. And you know what? We even have room for our little cake over here. There we go. This is way better. So I tried to use as many Gudetama items as possible, but there it is. Here's my Gudetama room. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments if you did. But before I design the Karomi room, I want to tell you guys about the 12 days of free holiday gifts from Hello Kitty and friends in the Toka Life World post office. So this post office is located in Bop City, which is a free component of the game. You don't have to get the pack for this, it is free. There's gonna be 12 gifts that you can get. And I mean, just look at these gifts, they're so adorable. So yes, make sure to check out Bop City Post Office and get yourself some free Hello Kitty themed gifts. And now it's time to design a Karomi themed room. I feel like this next room is going to be my favorite because the aesthetic is just everything. So let's start off this time with the wallpaper and the floor. So for the wallpaper, we have a choice of Karomi's head or just this black starry one, which is really cute. And then we also have flooring. So we just have a black flooring or we have this one with the skulls. I think I'm going to go with the black flooring and then I'm going to go with the heads for the wallpaper. That sounded so weird. I'm, I'm going to have, have the, the head, head wallpaper. wallpaper. We have a themed bed here. Just look at this. It is so cute. It has little ears and everything. I love it. I actually want to leave this window space free because we have curtains. Yes, you heard me right. We have curtains. I just need to find where they are. Oh, wow. Look, we have little ghost bunting. We have to use that too. Yeah, that can go there. Cobwebs too. You know what? We're making this room look spooky. Let's just say that these are fake and not real because I really don't like spiders. But they're cute for like little wall decorations. I like them. I feel like we have a lot of things to put on the wall for Karomi. Oh my gosh, look at these. There's little bats, little bat plushies. Oh, my heart. They're so cute. We have to use those two. We just have to. It has to be done. I'm just going through all of the items right now. I'm just low key freaking out at how cute they are. There's like a collection of pillows here that we totally have to use in the room. There's a chair. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it in, but I totally want to use it. Oh, look at this little cute light. It's got a little jack-o'-lantern face. And also this neon sign. <gasps> I have a neon sign in my office, so I feel like this is destiny. How am I gonna fit all of these things on the wall? I want them all. But there are quite a lot of Karomi themed items and I'm sad. I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to fit them. I mean, just look at this. Oh my gosh. It's a wardrobe that also looks like a coffin. I'm here for it. We also have a makeup vanity. See, there are just too many amazing items that I want to use right now, but I can't. All right, let's just work with the stuff I have in this room right now. I have a lot of things in here and I need to sort them out. So we have these sheer curtains to block out the sunlight. Who wants sun in a Karomi themed room? Not us. Let's move these little ghosties over the window. So I want to put the cobweb up in the corner, kind of like the spider is real and has come into Karomi's bedroom. I'm going to put the shelf up there, the clock above the bed, and somehow I've managed to make this work. We're fitting things in. I'm actually going to say goodbye to the chair. There's just no room for it. I really wish I could keep it, but I can't. So the pillows can go over on the floor down here. Our wardrobe over here. Move the bed. Now we have room for our vanity. There's a lot going on in this room, but I think I can make it work. I don't have any room for a side table, so I guess we're just gonna go with the makeup vanity. Ooh, we need a stool to sit at as well. Let's go get one of those now. How are we meant to do our makeup if we don't have a stool to sit on? There we go. Ooh, and there's actually quite a lot of makeup items that I want to put in this room, so let's try and find them. I keep finding things that I wanna put in this room. 
Look at this. It comes with little Polaroids. That is so cute. We may not be able to put the board in, but we'll still have the pictures. It's like this one too. Can I put this anywhere? This is making me sad. I don't have any wall space, but I really want to put this in. What else can we put in here? Oh, wow. There are a lot of makeup choices here. We have this entire makeup set here that you can actually dissect and take items out of, which is amazing. But I'm going to put the whole thing just on the makeup table like that. And also the perfume. But yeah, you can take things out of this, like the little powder, the lipstick, the brushes. I'm in love with this. This is so cute. And I feel like Toka has needed this, but I'm really happy that we've actually got all of this stuff. Can we make this a reality, please? I really want this eyeshadow palette. It's pink, it's purple, it's black. I love it. Oh, there's like little potion bottles. We've got to put those on the shelf as well. Oh, look, there's a little backpack. That is so cute and you can open it up. I'm getting emotional over a backpack right now. I really am, it's just so cute. And there's a little pumpkin light. That's gonna have to go up on the shelf too. There's so many things on these shelves. Can I put the Polaroid in the bag? I can put the Polaroid in the bag. That is amazing. I'm so easily entertained, honestly. Stacked up the shelf now. That's looking really good. I've got the little Polaroid in the backpack. I'm so proud of that. I'm just gonna have a final look through and see if there's anything else we can put in this room. There's two little candles, look. There's one here with a skull on it and one with a ghost on it. You know what? These would be perfect for on top of the wardrobe. Look at that. So darn adorable. There's a ghost. Where is this gonna go? I feel like I don't have room for it. I really wanna put it in the room. Oh, it fits over there, look, perfect. I have a ghost. And there we have it, a Karomi themed room. I have tried to use as many themed items as possible and I feel like I did a really good job. Let me know what you thought of this bedroom in the comments and which is your favorite, the sleek and simple Gudetama room or the cute and chaotic Karomi room? Personally, I love the Karomi room. We have a little area to sit down. We've got all of our potions, our lotions, our makeup, our plushies, but I do really like how clean and simple this room is. Once again, a big thank you to Toka Life World for sponsoring this video. Let me know what you thought was your favorite and make sure to check out the Hello Kitty and Friends pack in the in-app shop. You won't regret it. There are so many amazing items. But yeah, that's it from me today. Make sure to leave a like on the video and if you want to watch another one of mine, you can click here and let's go watch it together.